confidence coming into this. Exactly, and then they're actually setting up in this pistol round, and, and something that's become very common is this retake strategy on the A bomb site on pistol round. You know, three players over towards B, two getting res. That's so much information they have already. But look at Envy. Look how passive they're playing this one. Happy right back on Shox. Shox is going to be joining them. They've pushed all the way out on B site. Keo is pretty much in T spawn right now, so he's going to be coming around the back. Smith is going through middle. MBK, Envy are completely set up for this. They're sitting passive, waiting for the team to rotate around the back. So this is going to be perfectly set up. MBK, well, shocks. Just they're just landing the headshots. Cloud9, while well, they try and go for the take, not able to land the shots. And when you only get one kill, they got the bomb plant down. Better than nothing, but Envious read that situation perfectly. The fact that they were flanking all the way around the back, give them all the information they needed. Yeah, it, it came down to that intel that they received, and not only that, but when you're playing that retake strategy, it's so much easier. NBK gets two kills before they even get into the into the bomb site and start planting the bomb. So, I mean, those two kills are crucial. It makes it so much easier to retake. It allows Shocks to be aggressive and land some nice headshots. Yeah, and of course, the issue with the, the pistol, the fact that I think they only brought one smoke, only saw one smoke down there. Was, uh, means you're not going to be able to block off that A site. Let's see how they set up for this one. Obviously coming into it with an eco. It's just going to be a straight P250. He's not hanging around with it. Yeah, they're going to buy next round. That'll be a third yeah. round buy with the, with the plant. So not going to force anything out. We do see Mag 7 from Happy. Want to see where he goes. On MBK going aggressive on main, but they are in squeaky. Happy is set up with <laughs> Mag 7. They're just going to go straight into the grinder here. Soon as the door pops open. Oh, that was a little cheeky. That was cheeky. That was a little bit. Now, was that Happy showing it straight away, or was that nothing just getting a quick sneaky peeky? Either way, didn't work out for him. They're going to rotate back around. Are they going to head into main? Oh, they are. They're coming straight into the crosshairs of MBK. Yeah, because Sean has a smoke and two flashes, so he wants something to do with it. Now, MBK is going to grab a couple easy oh, ones. God, he is not missing the shots right now. Going to get himself a very easy 4K. And this is exactly the start that Cloud9 didn't really want to see. Pistol would have been something they could have done with <laughs> MBK getting seven kills in the first two rounds is not pretty reading. Here we go though. This is the buy round. They forced in it on the third. Let's see what they can do. Sean actually holding on only getting the tech nine. Oh, he's gone for the molly. That's why. Yeah, he, he's grabbing the utility as the in-game leader to help them kind of execute a strategy they want to run on this third round. Well, smoked off mid. It's going to be a push once again. Nothing going up. Squeaky Freakazoid, Skadoodle and Shroud all coming through main. Happy and MBK once again. The receivers sitting fairly passive. Shox is holding mid. You can see him lurking in that smoke. Has all the information he needs. There's the molly. It went in towards vents. But it is going to be an A main. It was just a fake they were trying to do. But look at this. Happy and MBK. Perfect position for this one. And they gain. They should walk into it. They do manage to get one down. That was shocks in mid, though. And MBK once again. He is landing the shots. Has been taken down. They've got control finally. But the bomb is actually missing. It's in the smoke. Nothing needs to get forward. But Keo and Smith's on the rotate. They managed to get the rifles out of the hands. And nothing. Already with two frags now. The only man standing on court. Not going to get Smith's down. And MV will get themselves another very simple round setup. And again, the money now starting to build already. MBK, 7.8K, will buy himself a rifle back in there, but only four kills for Cloud9 in the first three rounds is not the ideal start. No, not at all. And now, and now I mean, we talked about North American teams going to get a hot start. This is terrible for them. And that, that round actually was completely backwards to how Cloud9 wants to go. They do not want to have nothing in Freakazoid alive to, to close out these situationals. Cloud9 this time looks like they're going to try and get some mid-control here. Shocks fully set up for this one. Or is it going to be a B push? But everybody from Envy is in a perfect position. This is obviously going to be just the eco to try and push through. Sean gets the only man with the Tech 9. Heard the vents pop. They know they've come through. They're going to collapse on them from every angle. This should be clean-up duty. Smith gets himself a double. That's all he needed to do from that position. Keo in the background knows he's got one more. Doesn't manage to land the head pop. It is just nothing. Gets himself a second around the side there. Could try and land on Kyo, but Kyo's not falling for it. And they are really holding the angle as well. More importantly, they're, they're landing the opening entry frags. Right, and no, nothing's really going Cloud9's way early on in these rounds. And that was a great play by Kyo. Just, I mean, it was just an eco, but just staying alive behind that box. Don't let him take over the bomb site. Don't let a potential bomb plant come in. Wait for the rotation, even with the advantageous fight with you know a rifle against a pistol. Well, the AWP now picked up by Skadoodle. Let's see what it can do with this. Smith has replied. Oh, look at this. A four-man stack from Envious pushing out aggressive on A main. Keo manages to find Shroud already down squeaky. So that's left Smith's all alone over on B site. Now, he's got the AWP. This is the confidence they have in his abilities. 
Yeah, and now Cloud Nine's in trouble. Now that now that Envy has established dominance over towards that A side, they can rotate back. Now they have so much intel, and moving forward, Cloud Nine's going to have to run time off the clock, being being cautious of a, of another play like that. And there's Smiths with a nice pick on a nothing. Nothing. The only man really to pick up the kills for Cloud Nine so far is going to pretty much put them in the dumpster. Shox is cleaning up from mid. Sean gets the only man standing, trying to go for the rotate, but Shox is ready and waiting to land him. Has the angle covered off. Sean going to make a run for A, but he's going to run headlong into MBK the second he comes around this A main corner. And there's MBK with cleanup duty. And that is a pretty much what Envious wanted. A 5-0 start. And already this is looking deadly for Cloud9. It really is. And I love that call by Envy. You know, no, knowing that there was a save round and then the upcoming round is going to be a full buy by Cloud9, not letting them have anything they want. Take full control. Don't let them execute any kind of strategy that they're comfortable doing. You take the fight to them and they pick Shroud off immediately and it's a great advantage. Yeah, switching it up, going full on aggressive. Cloud9 this time. Look like they're going to go for some mid control here. Shox is all alone. He's at Sandbags. Freakazoid has his eye on it. Skadoodle's also on the boost above him. They, they don't have any Molotovs to flush to flush anyone out of position. So Shoxy's over here at these sandbags. He doesn't have to worry about anything. There's no Molotov available for, for Cloud9 to force him out. Because Skadoodle is up on high. The second Shox shows he could be in trouble. Freak is always going to be the man that peaks. Gets a glimpse of him. Shox manages to find the head. And now all the looking. He's going to flash himself out. Skadoodle is looking. Doesn't manage to land the shot. Has only the AK. And well, it's given all the information they need. Shox has just said, yep, they're still boosted. Covering me off. Now the support is coming. MBK and Happy about to rotate in. This is this is this is problematic for Cloud9. If they can get control in mid though, but Smiths with the AWP has now moved across. A position that actually has started to stop. They have managed to get the kill. Skadoodle manages to get himself a double. They push through on B-side as well. Happy got the reply on Skadoodle in mid, but Sean has nothing and Shroud all pushing on towards Keo here on site. Keo will find one. Gonna pop flash himself out, take a peek in towards Checkers. That is where Schrongers is waiting and a peek across. Cross out placement wasn't quite there for Keo. So he does manage to come out on top and Happy suddenly finds himself in a one on two situation. Both on site. He's got Molly. That will flush out into corner. That will actually land perfectly on towards nothing. So he tries to back away. Bomb on the back. Grenade will manage to find him. And now we're down to a one on one. Sean Gares got himself tucked up. Just the left hand side. You can see it with the x-ray. Happy looking at the spot. He knows he's there. Happy will find it. And that was the chance for Cloud9. They shouldn't have wrestled control of mid. Honestly, that yeah, MB no. has let them have that round almost. Right. Uh, I mean, that, that was a situation where Cloud9 should have been completely shut down. But what a one on two by Happy. Using the Molotov to force the planter away and right into where he was going to throw his grenade. That gets one kill and he finds Sean there at the end. I do want to say, in the, there's, a, there's a crack in those sandbags that Shoxy was playing at. So he can actually see when to pop up and take that shot. And that was a beautiful first kill and just staying alive and gathering intel from there uh, allowed perfect rotations for Envy. It's all going Envy's way. And this time, well, we're back on AKs. They've got a couple of mollies this time, and they are going to try and flush him out. Look at this. They're in the exact same position. This time, they should be able to back it out. Shoxi is in that corner, and he will get taken down. There was the molly to flush him out. And now they have mid-control. What are they going to do with it? Sean Gares is having a little peek over in vents, but Kyo is there. You can see Smith's below him. Oh, if they push this angle, this could go against them. There, Smith manages to get himself one. Doesn't get the second, but Kyo will get the reply. They are going to take control of B-Site, and he's down to Happy and MBK to rotate. Yeah, and look at all those Skadoodle and Shroud. This is a very winnable situation, but you can see how much more effective Cloud9 in was they have the mollies to clear out these spots as they enter into Bombsite. And their economy was so was so brutal for the first you know five or six rounds, they couldn't afford it. But now that they can, they're having success. MBK taking a peek. Shroud just having a look. As you mentioned, four and five hit points. All they got nothing is the man with... The support, and he's the man that's actually covering off. The second MBK drops, he's just off to the side. Happy's going to jump on through. Nothing will find MBK. Now it's all on Happy. Just went a 1v2, and there is the first round for Cloud9. Nothing comes out when it needed. And it was all about the mollies. Managed to finally flush out the mid. Yep, flush out. And you can see actually how fast Cloud9 has switched things up. That's because when Envy is, when Envy's been bringing the fight to them, pushing A main, pushing in the do doorway when they're playing slower, it's ruining everything. So they don't want to let Envy have that aggressive control. So they're playing aggressive themselves, bringing it right back. But here's the scary part. They won one round. That's great. If they get their economy reset here down 6-1, that's going to turn into a scary half. Yeah, that could be a problem. Happy went for the AWP this time around. He's gone single-handedly, actually A main pushing through, which is why we can see all the information being gathered. Nothing, just keeping them at bay there. It's Keo that was pushed up on the mid. Shox is with him. But 
Four members of Cloud9 are setting up for a B take here. Smith is all alone at the moment. They're actually going for the boost, and they're going to try and get across. Oh, Shox manages to get the headshot onto nothing just as he tried to back away, but they're going to flush out Smiths here, push on through. They've got the sight. Kyo's going to try and jump through vents, but he will get caught out by Skadoodle. Shox tries to follow. Skadoodle gets a second, and now they have this beat control once again in a four-on-two situation this time. Yeah, this is beautiful by Cloud9 with a nice fire execute over at the B site. Ruins everyone's positioning, and MB, I mean, really, they need to save. This choke point is smoked off, and MBK's all alone. Happy's not even close to him. So they are just going to save those rifles into the next round, and that's Cloud9 starting to stabilize the economy. You can see it's a little bit weak on Envious, which bodes well for the terror side. Yeah, finally getting themselves in there. It has been nothing, and Skadoodle, and been nothing going down so early. You weren't sure, but they really did a very good B-taking. Smith's being left alone. Everybody will get out with the rifles. They're not going to hunt down anyone in the CT spawn where Envious were hiding. But 6-2 the score. Cloud9 starting to get themselves going here. Can they carry that momentum through? Can they start to pick up a few rounds? They haven't been successful going towards A site. And after two successful B hits, we'll see if they switch it up. Yeah, and it's, especially that first round came down to you know winning mid control away from Envy with that Molotov to flush shocks out of position. So they need more of that, although it looks like Envy's going to switch up how they play it a little bit. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have triple stack over towards Squeaky Shroud setting up for the smoke. Skadoodle. Oh, he gets legs. Position, but Happy. What a shot from Happy. Yeah. Gets the information as well. Pushes out A main. That's confident performance considering he is the only man with a rifle. Oh, <laughs> good lord. They could be landing. But this triple Squeaky push could put Happy in a problem. He's going to back away. Looks like he's going to head all the way back to the corner. That gives them A control. They can't get in the corner. MBK. If he can push on through and keep them pinned off, but he will get taken down. And now Shock's the only man with a rifle. Will have to back away. Smiths and Keo, are they going to try and push on this one? It's going to be tricky. They've only got pistols. Deagle for Keo. Nothing's on the hunt. He's going to try and chase down Shox here, and he may catch him in the back. If he's not careful, Sean Gaze is going to come around. Shox is in all sorts of trouble. He's about to be pinned with this M4 out. Keo's found out. Shox and Sean Gares literally about to come head to head. He's got one either side of him. No chance for Shox to hold on to that weapon. 6-3, Cloud9, three rounds back to back. Starting to build the bank. Yeah, another buy out of Envy, though. And you, you said it. That was just very confident from Happy. Spamming that off into the wall. The only player over at A. And when those smokes come out, come out, he's looking towards A main. He's not expecting uh, Freakazoid to just push through the smoke that, that was laid down and just wrap around and get that entry kill. So, I mean, that's Freakazoid. He's just fearless. He's going to do things like that. Which is great when you look at, the, obviously, the, the performance last week. Questioned a little bit, but still very confident. And now, with the rifles, Keo had to save. Didn't manage to get himself a gun while well, the rest of the team got their M4s. But look at this, big triple boost. Shocks once again in the same position. They are going to flush him out, but it was a little late. And Keo, pistol or not, gets himself a double. Now Skadoodle will finally challenge him. But we're in a two-on-two -two situation. Skadoodle will pick up the bomb. He's got nothing in support. These are the two top fraggers for Cloud9 currently. So this is a good situation for them. Up against Smiths and Happy. Happy holding that AWP over on A site again. He's going to check out an A main, so he's getting the information. Smith's in a good spot as well, so they have both sites pretty well covered. Yeah, they're split in one. It's going to be a two-on-one for Cloud9 no matter where they go. The, mm. the tough part for Envy is they've actually pushed up in their respective bomb sites, so they're going to be, they can be at angles that Cloud9 is not expecting them to be. Happy is almost <laughs> pushed out to T-spawn right now. He's gone all the way down. Now he's going to rotate back. I'm pretty sure he's aware. He's going to be checking A main. He knows... They're coming up short. Nothing is good. That's going to be the site they go for. There's the smoke onto truck, but it's not the angle they need. Happy could catch them off guard here. Caught a glimpse. There he did. Saw Skadoodle. Will manage to land the shot on nothing. And now Skadoodle in the two on one. But he manages to challenge Happy. Gets the bomb plants in there. Smith is making the rotate, but he is smoked off. And this is now all in the hands of Skadoodle. He's already got three kills in this round. Can he make it a 4K? And a great fourth round for Cloud9. Smith's in an unenviable task here. Skadoodle with his op. This is where he shines. He's going to peek out. He's almost found it. There it is. Skadoodle wins it for Cloud9. That's a beautiful shot. A great round from him. That's a four kill on the round for Skadoodle. Mm, 4K, and that's exactly what he needed to get going. That's actually doubled his kill count as well. It was a fantastic round for him. 
And again, they got mid-control. This is where it worked. They got the boost. Shocks unable to hold them out. Actually in the same spot that he's been for the last couple of rounds, and they are flushing him out every round now. Yeah, they're being very, very effective with their mid-control. And Envy even had three people, three players Look in mid-that stack. range. Five-man stack on B side, pistol. And actually, the bomb is coming their way. Molly's going to get straight into the corner. That's going to flush him out. Freakazoid's going to be the first man to come around that corner. But Smith, we can see with his deagle. Kyo as well. It could go against them. There's a triple deagle set up here from Envious. And I think they've realized it. I think they're going to rotate around. Sean Gares is like, nobody, nobody is in around there. Mid is completely clear. Shroud's pushing out mid. Yeah, they're, they're, they're back in. They're going A. Yeah, this is a smart adjustment as well. Even throwing that smoke just to keep, keep Envy in this stack. So now they've got a great advantage. Shock's the only man that's gone up to truck. Now the rest of Envious are starting to rotate. They've realized something is up. This is not correct. Nobody's pushing on B's site. All five of them now coming around. Nothing. And Sean Gares coming in towards main. Shock's trying to cover them off. It's going to be Smith and MBK that will push out mid. They may catch out Freakazoid. They do. Caught him unaware. Skadoodle caught out in the smoke as well by Smith. That's another one down. But nothing. Unrelenting. Across at forklift does manage to keep them at bay. But it's into a three-on-three -three situation with Bomb Plant down. Yeah, one more kill here from Envy would be great. They can salvage this AWP as well if, if they can keep it alive. That, that'd be a great find for them. And one more kill would do, do wonders for the economy, or against the economy of Cloud9. Looks like they're going to keep hold happy. Has backed right back there. The shock's going down. Almost certainly will be a save now for them. Chonga is going to try and get around to the middle. He's going to try and find Happy here, but Happy staring at him. Keo, meanwhile, trying to get a Juan D, but it's not working out for him. It's more like a multi-D. And still not managing to get through. 6-4. So, after a pretty hefty start for Envious, Cloud9 definitely brings back into a 6-5, sorry. Five rounds back to back. More importantly, getting the plants down. Look at that. You just got a glimpse of it there. 12,000 in the bank for Skadoodle. It is starting to really work out well for them. Yeah, they're, they're looking really good right now. And, and I mean, one of the things that Taz talked about in his post-game interview was that European teams great at adapting in the middle of these halves. And, and we're seeing a very, very good adaption from Cloud9 playing more aggressive and gaining mid-control. So, a lot of mollies this time around for Cloud9. Happy's going to peak. Freakazoid is there. Skadoodle will land the shot again. And he's been winning out that duel every bit. And that's what we talked about at the start. If he can get going, it's trouble. It was a double up setup for Envious here with Smiths and Shocks. Now recovering that one from Happy's body. Envious going for a rotate here. They're going to try. Yeah, two men in the quad. Keo in mid. Yeah, and look at how spread out Cloud9 is on the terrorist side. Just basically a line across the map. They're slowing things down now that they have the advantage. They're waiting to see if Envy is going to make any kind of aggression play, any kind of information gathering. You know, they just want to be able to punish that before choosing the bomb site they want to hit, which looks like it's going to be over towards the B site. Skadoodle, Sean Gares, nothing. All sat over at B. About to push through. Smith's crosshair is waiting, and he will manage to land Sean Gares as he crosses. This time, I think Skadoodle will challenge it. Yeah, there's the little shoulder peak, but he gets smoked off instead. Is he going to try and flash himself through? He's going to flash Keo in, and Keo will find nothing. They do manage to get into sight, but Shroud, is he going to push on through that smoke? He's got the bomb in hands. Freakazoid is going to cover him off here, but Envious already in a good position to try and get the retake in. MBK coming through. That's going to be surely the round for Envious now. Freakazoid, the last man on the back of sight, will get caught out. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's actually a horrendous take from Cloud9. With a 5-on-4 advantage, and, and you give it away by, by trying to execute on the B-bomb site without a smoke down towards spawn, it's a free kill for the AWPer. Not only that, but after that kill goes down, because they don't have a smoke, they have to take time to throw it, to let it deploy the smoke, and that gives all the rotations from Emmy to come over, and now they have three ops in their, in their arsenal. <laughs> well, we'll see what they do with it. Triple AWP set up. Somewhat unorthodox, but we'll see where they go. Shocks. He's got one. He's been smoked off. Happy with the other. Freak smoked himself off. Happy's actually pushing out. He's gone through Squeaky. And he's going to try and catch Sean Gares off guard. And I think it may work. But Sean, that was the second time that Happy's tried it. And this time he was ready for it. Skadoodle, you can see the mid control from Cloud9. This may be doable. Yeah, but look at this rotation from Envy now. And once again, in a five on four, Envy's coming over aggressively. And they have this A bomb site stacked. Kia will come around. Skadoodle will find him. As you mentioned, they've got Sean Gares. He's already got one around there. Freakazoid. Oh, Shox manages to take down Skadoodle. Freakazoid was trying to be the distractor. Shox not falling for it. And that was the bomb loose. Freakazoid should be able to collect that one. They could go to B here. The rotate positioning, but Smiths will find nothing. That was just as the smoke cleared. Managed to catch him through mid there. They are going to go for the rotate, but Shox is already in position. You can see 
Smith is going to join them. Shroud and Freakazoid in on sight, but I don't think they expect Shocks to already be here. Will come across, doesn't land the shot. Freakazoid manages to come out on top. They will get the plant down. Sean Gares joining them. They managed to take Smith down from Vents. And now MBK in a three-on-one retake. In an almost impossible position. No way, surely, they can do this one. He will get taken down. Freakazoid making it count. For a moment there, for a moment, you just weren't quite sure where it was going to go, but the triple orb, that's a risky play from Envious going triple orb. It is, and what was a little bit scary is that was actually a 5-on-3 at one point for Cloud9, mm. and then they let the equalizer comes in. It seems like there's this point in the middle portion of the round where Sean wants to make his decision, and they kind of stall out, and their players get a little bit passive, and it allows Envy to, you know, to find different positions to use, it, and they were able to pick it off and equalize, but then a great B take from there helps Cloud9 out massively. Back and forth the round goes. That's not good for anyone's economy. At the moment, Cloud9 are the ones with the rifles. Envious already lost Kyo. That's one going down. MBK might want to try and rescue that one, but it's all the way to the side of the map. And instead, it's going to be mid-control completely in the hands of Cloud9. And this surely will be a simple B plant now. Happy and MBK, the only two survivors. MBK will find one with a P250. And Happy will get the second. But to get on site in a 1v3... He's a nigh impossible when Freak is always ready and waiting for him. This is actually a great, great half from Cloud9 so yeah. far. About to have their seventh round. They're finding so many entry frags recently. After those first six rounds, you know, we talked about in those six rounds, nothing was going for them early. Now they've gotten a little bit more aggressive, and they're focusing on that mid-control. They're, they're just abusing it. Skadoodle's been getting entries. Freakazoid got one to help him get back on track. Shroud's found a couple nice shots. So everyone on Cloud9 seems to be clicking very, very well right now. If he's just going to hold off. We'll get Sean Gares on the exit, and that's all he's going to get. So it's going to be all square, ladies and gentlemen. We're one round to go. 7-7. Seven, seven. Not what was written when Envious come into this as a tournament winner. This is Cloud9. 6-0 down. Confident play to get themselves back into this one. Yeah, this is a great position to be in. And, uh, I mean, look at the money from, from Envy as well. Uh, this is going to be... You know, Cloud9 has a great advantage in this round to actually take the lead into the second half. I mean, look at all these pistols that, that Envy's forced to wield. Well, Keo with 1,300. That's about all he could buy, I guess. Yeah, he's still got 1,300 in the bank, but he's going to stick with it. This is that double-edged sword we talked about with Envy as well. They're so good on these force buys, but, I mean, you'd much rather have them on these than with the AK-47. So, I mean, now cloud Nines is just in a great spot. This has been a wonderful half for them. Envious haven't stacked a sight. They haven't risked it. They've got three on B, so you could argue that is a stack, but happy with the AK boosted over on A site as well. Shroud trying to get a couple of wall bangs through the door. Freakazoid off on the side. It's Happy as the man they need to try and find. He's the only rifle in the Envious team right now. Shox is going to get himself a little peek, a little bit of information in that mid. So far, Cloud9 playing this one very cautiously. Yeah, they know they have the they know they have the the advantage in terms of their weaponry, and also not only that, but the utility. They they know they can wait out some of these smokes, and it's just going to run low for envy. So they know they can abuse that fact. Now they're finally going to rotate back over towards B. Sean Gares having a little tip for tat with Smith there over at B site. The rest of the team rotating. Well, they're coming into a three stack here. This is maybe misread the situation. Envious are ready for this one. Keo gets himself one, won't get the second. That's the sort of shutdown they needed. And now Shox in sight. Happy in MBK rotating. Shox will find himself one now that gives his position away. Can he get the second? Yes, he can. This is going wrong. This is exactly what Cloud9 was suffering from last week at Gfinity. And Shroud is going to push on through. He's the only man standing. How the hell did that just fall apart for Cloud9? There's always a heartbreaking round with Cloud9. Always. And that's it right there. Shox finds three one-on-one -on -one battles with that 5-7. It's so clean. He has so much time to just hang out. He kills Sean, who's trying to clear the bomb site while jumping, looking the wrong way. Like, no one clears that spot, and then from there, it's just one-on-one -on -one battles, and you're going to lose those against Envy, even with the pistols. They're just so good on the four spies. Man, it's it's just come around to bite them in the ass once again. They knew about this. This is something they talked about. And that was just maybe, whether it was information gathering, but they just didn't, you know, check sites. They were expecting it to be stacked one way or the other, but... Well, here's what's a little weird about it, is that that Molotov execute they do, the, the Molotov they throw into the mm. B bomb site eliminates half the bomb site uh, in that little headshot spot along the wall where the grill so is. There's so only one area There's you need only to like check, one yeah. or two places that someone can be, and they didn't clear out that one, that one or two spots. And when he gets the first kill, he's like, he's in that corner, guys. Yeah. He's in the corner. Let's peek one at a time. Let's go. Yeah. Well, and that's where you can see Cloud9 really respecting Envy on the four spies, is it seemed like players were just so scared to actually swing on it. They wanted to stop in the open and kind of take a rifle battle, and, and you know, if you can just turn the corner and, and eliminate them. I mean, that's what has to happen. So clear their minds.
They're still coming into this second half as the CT side, 8-7 down. That is a much better performance. Considering it was 6-0 to the start for Envious, they really did drag themselves back into this one very nicely. Envious discussions here before we start this second half off. How do we read this? This is... This has been Cloud9 turning up, honestly. It has been. It, it, it was Cloud9 actually taking punches for six rounds mm. and then figuring things out. And, uh, you know, it was interesting that Envy found a lot of success being aggressive early on and, and to get to those six rounds, and they never really went back to it. You know, they just kind of decided Cloud9's going for mid control. We'll just stack mid instead. But they never aggressively took map control again on either side of the map. Well, the pistols very much went envious his way last time. In fact, Cloud9 just got four kills in the first three rounds combined. And again, this time, Cloud9 starting to make things worse. Skadood is going to come around the back there, tries to get on towards them, but again, Envious wrestle control, and he's down to Shroud and Freakazoid. Shroud's going to peek on through. He's got one directly below him, has the positional advantage, but doesn't land a single shot. And now Freakazoid, the only man to try and challenge. Smith's about half hit points. Shocks just off the side. In checkers, could land the opener there. Didn't quite get on towards him. He's never going to be able to stick this. He's got 10 seconds to try and hold that one. Worth a try, I guess. And Smith will take him down. And that's both pistols now lost by Cloud9. Yeah, and that was actually another round where they had really good positioning. They, they had mid control as the CT team. They had Skadoodle in the vents. So they essentially had three players over at B. And that was just a four-man B rush. And Envy just wins out on the trades and the, and, the, and the kills. So nicely done from them. And Shroud's going to look back there and think, how did I not land a single hit? Right. Yeah. <laughs> so how is that possible? Oh, they've read this situation well, Cloud9. They are set up well for it. They've gone for that scout for Skadoodle, but he's been flushed out of checkers a little bit here, and that grenade, along with the MAC-10 of Happy, will close him down. Sean Gare's not going to be able to surprise anyone there. Freakazoid trying to play the Shock situation, but Shocks this time did exactly what they should have done. Happy is ready for Shroud the second he peeks through vents here, and these MAC-10s are racking them up a whole lot of money. Yeah, four SMGs and a Tech-9, that's a very mobile terrorist squad on the anti-eco, and you could see how aggressive, aggressively they played it turning these corners. Here's the tough part for Cloud9, is Happy might be able to find one. He does, so just more money in the bank for him. They're just farming Cloud9 at the moment, but <laughs> uh, here, here's the thing. Since, since Cloud9 bought there, they're not doing any damage whatsoever, so this is a terrible round for them, and coming up under the first gun round, um, you know, Skadoodle might not be able to afford an op. They're going to have very... Uh, he bought the scout, so he, there's no way he's going to have an op on the four, yeah. uh, fourth round, which was a huge, a huge boon for them in the first half. His, his AWP was fantastic, but I, I mean, this is going to be a very light buy. We're going to see it up in the first gun round in terms of their nades, their kits. They're, they're going to be very, very light on all of it. Yeah, 1,900 across the board. Flat broke, pretty much. So I think we're going to see a straight save coming out. As you say in that, well, realistically would be 11-7 and envious. Well, they're suddenly very close to taking this game. AK coming out for Keo. The rest of the team sticking with the SMGs. And why not? Because they know they're up against it pretty much full eco here. Just the head armor for nothing, which he saved from the last round. And already they're flushing out. They're pushing through. This is going to be a straight up B rush once again. Or no, they're just going to fake it. So they fold the rotation on this anti eco. And now they're going all the way back towards towards the A bomb site. And Cloud Nine's stuck. Now they I mean, they have one behind him. Happy's going to cut off any rotations. But Cloud Nine in an awkward position now. Should be able to catch Freakazoid out. Yep. Just gonna, ooh, nearly missed it. <laughs> Just a little little twitch there. Nothing's going to try and get up through Squeaky. Shocks, I think, should catch him in the back if he looks left. No, he's not going to. Nothing will find him instead. Doesn't manage to get himself the weapon, but will get a second kill on towards MBK. Now he's going to pick himself up a MAC-10, but with just 10 hit points, it's a pretty much an unenviable task. Doodle finds one on Happy. So they are managing to get the kills despite not getting the round. Making Envious pay as much as they can. Right, and but, you know, with the SMGs that Envy had, you know, they built up yeah. so much money, so it means less economically that they're dying. And also, there's no weapon for, for uh, Cloud9 to salvage. The only one that's really worth anything is Keo's AK-47, and they're not going to find that. There's no way Keo gives that up to him. Yeah, how did nothing not manage to find that Mac-10 that was in the middle? Hey, there, there's he, no... Well, because next round they're going to have to buy the rifles, so there's no real reason uh, to even, yeah. even take it. Yeah. Unless right. you're going to go for one last kill at the end, but I think he just preferred to have the 5.7 as a secondary. Yeah, now they're going to be stuck in head armor. Is Smith going to stick with that Mac-10? Let's see. No, there we go. I was going to say, that's that's a little too cocky if he goes that far. But 11-7 is the score. And this is, well, the story of Envious so far. Win the pistol, pick up a chunk of rounds, and then see what Cloud9 can respond with. Now, mid-control being very much pushed by Envious here. Smith's in there. MBK all pushing through the middle. Shroud still caught out, burning. Tries to smoke himself out. 
They know he's still in the corner. There's a lot of bullets rattling his direction. Support is coming. Freakazoid and Skadoodle come around the side. Freakazoid gets one. Shroud gets a second. But that's going to be b site now in control. Kier managing to get it. But the bomb is loose in middle. And Cloud9 have position. Yeah, and Envy actually has two flank positions, so Happy's going to take... Uh, oh, and a second one. What a, what a job from him. Nicely done. And look at how much emphasis both of these teams are putting on middle on their terror side. Yeah, they're stacking it out. 1-3-1, one, one, almost the set standard tactic that we've been seeing from these guys. And yeah, as uh, YNK points out, our respectator, very much all about that sandbags. We saw Shocks obviously using that position heavily. And of course, the white box shroud this time. They're going to stack out. It is only going to be a pistol, and they're stacking the right side so far for Envy. If they don't show themselves too heavily, Envy could walk into a trap. Oh, well, they managed to get two. Sean goes and skadoodle, but that is about all it's going to be. Nothing the last man. Caught out in checkers. Gets himself one. Rescues the AK. He's in a one-on-two. They'd have only landed that one tap. That may well have been everything. No armor for him, of course, but the rotate's coming from Envious. They're going to push back around to A-site. Nothing's going to make sure it's clear before he goes for this retake. And he's going to see and hoover up anything he can in and around B-site. Yeah, it just turns into a gamble a gamble decision at this point for nothing. If he could have landed that one that one kill there at the end to make it a one-on-one. -on -one. But either way, a pretty solid eco route from Cloud9, but they're... they're, they're running out of rounds where that's going to matter. You know, now they're, done they're about to be done 13 to 7 unless this is something magical. He actually looks like he's going to go for it here. Try and find an early kill into a one-on-one. -on -one. He has no kit. Well, he should be able to buy up anyway after this one, so let's see what he can do. He knows there's going to be one in quad at least, but they're both there. Little peak coming out. Smith's just getting a little look here. He's in a good situation. Got himself into forklift position, but he's expecting the main, and they're both double stacked behind him. Yeah, coming in back turned. Smith will pick himself up an easy kill and the round. And now at 13 7, Cloud9 suddenly under serious pressure. Yeah, and the solution has got to be if they can get an op in Skadoodle's hands. They're going to need that weapon, and they do pick it up on him, so that's key. Big round for Skadoodle. What can he do? As he mentioned, six rounds back to back. In the CT side for Envious, five rounds back to back so far for Envious on the T side. Can Skadoodle reply? Oh, caught a glimpse of the legs of Shox as he flashed on by. Smith is with him. That bomb's been dropped. Nothing's pushed really aggressively here and will find Happy. So that's one man down to the good. And if it had only just took a little glimpse to the right, he would have seen the bomb loose in mid. Shox smoked off. And what, what are they going to do? So Envious in a 4v5, they're going to regroup, and they're going to head straight into Skadoodle's crosshair. Yeah, this is actually, I mean, Cloud9 has good mid control here as well, with nothing in the vents, Shroud also peeking at the box. This is a very, you know, they can, you know, they can have three players over towards the A-bomb site because of that mid control. They only need one player there with a the player in the vents, so they have a good defense for this, and Skadoodle, he's inches away from finding another one. Oh, scoped in, zoomed in, finds shocks. That is one of the main players down, and that is going to be... Cloud9 keeping them away. They have completely backed off from this one. They're coming B side. MBK's got a little bit of control in mid there. Got flashed out though. Keo's got himself into checkers. Shroud the man here with Sean Gares in support in upper. Shroud got a little glimpse on. I think it was Keo in checkers. MBK's backing him up now. And the rotate's coming. Nothing of Freakazoid will join them. Wasn't able to hold them off. Sean Gares has just got to keep them from planting while the rest of his team get in support. Will manage to get around. Finds the bomb plant. So that's what he needed to do. Nothing comes in. Finds one. Finds two. And Cloud9 will pick up an all-important eighth round. Yeah, huge. And this could, I mean, this, this, if we can see Cloud9 stabilize their economy, this can turn into a little bit of deja vu where, where Envy wins the first six rounds of the half and then Cloud9 figures out some adjustment to make. And they have to. This is the point. This is their one last window of opportunity to stabilize the economy. If they're forced to save here, that's going to be brutal. That'll allow Envy to get onto map point. I mean, great play from nothing because he started and ended that round. It was all about him pushing through, finding happy in mid. This time, Shroud's been the aggressive. Oh, they're going to three-stack over on a site, and that's exactly where Envious are coming here. So this is a good situation. Nothing in a quick position to rotate. Skadoodle once again with that AWP. Got himself set up, but Happy is actually in squeaky with an AWP of his own. He's going to be looking across. Not going to be able to get too much until he swings out there, but it's all about MVK, MBK and Kyo. 
put down the distraction. Here they go. They're going to push on through. Flashes, smokes, everything down. Skadoodle in a good position. Will get completely caught out. Will manage to find one. It was the bomb carry he got. Nothing's still there in support. This is good setup now. Freakazoid does manage to land a second. Now they catch out. Happy will go down. They're going to rescue that. That could give them a double up setup here if they want it. They only lost one man, and that's put Envy onto a save. Yeah, uh, aggressive rotation. Or will they force? We've seen it with Envy. We, we know, know really. Well, <laughs> Smith just buys out the Tech 9 and Arbor. They do have a couple Tech 9s out. Doesn't, doesn't look like it's going to be too committed with the armor and everything, but still obviously a dangerous situation. But the big thing is uh, Cloud9 showing that, that really aggressive, fast rotation. They had, they had Freakazoid and nothing swinging into the bomb site so quickly that Envy wasn't prepared for it. Oh, Freakazoid going to go for early information gathering. I think he just caught a glimpse of one behind the box there. That grenade will rattle around, but they're pushing through on Squeaky very quickly. They don't manage to find Freakazoid. Now they finally get him down, but the damage has been done. Shroud's just gunned them down as they pushed out there. Gets himself a triple skadoodle finishes. And suddenly we're at 13 10. Quick and easy for Cloud9 to pull themselves three rounds back. Yeah, looking pretty good for Cloud9 as well. I mean, they've, they've stabilized. They have, some, they have some money behind them. So they have a bank. They've got the op and skadoodle. They have everything they need here to make this a comeback. And once again, they've made some adjustment in the middle in the middle uh, stages of this half, and they've uh, and they're really turning it on its head. It's what we heard uh, Taz talking about, obviously, you know, talking about how they start to play each other more often, and that's really it for North America. The more and more they play the European teams, the more they'll learn, the more and more they get used to it. And, well, obviously, Cloud9 Envious met and played three matches just last week, very much aware of each other. The boost here from Shroud covering off a main Envious definitely going to play this one a lot slower. Well, here, here's the clever thing by Cloud9. They've switched Skadoodle's position over towards B. This might catch Envy off guard. He misses the shot. He had it, though, on Smith's. Well, that gives Keo the information. He knows there's an AWP over there now. But remember, they do have a second on Sean Gares, who's holding the mid at the moment. Skadoodle is going to stick around there. They're not going to switch positions up. Nothing's just still holding that uh, double stack with Shroud on A site and Freakazoid backing him up. So they're very confident this is going to be an A play. Yeah, and it looks like it's going to be a little bit of a fake. They're actually going to boost over. So they throw the smokes, they throw the flashes towards A, and they're going to boost mid. Sean's going to miss oh. the shot. He's under a lot of pressure now. Yeah, he needed to land that one. He will get out of there alive, though, and they're going to be going straight through vents. Skadoodle in the back here, just covering off checkers. Freakazoid's going to be joining him, but he's got to hold them off. He manages to get the bomb carrier. That's a good start. They're going to try and swarm his site, but look at this. Freakazoid comes around. Skadoodle gets a second, and they will keep them at bay. Happy the only man standing with just nine health, and shots will push on through. That's another easy one. And that was a great rotate from Cloud9. That looks so scary. Skadoodle in a one-on-four situation. Grabs the first pick, stays alive, and Freakazoid buys him enough time to rotate over. And he bails Skadoodle out of a tough spot. So another great defense situation from Cloud9 where they're aggressively rotating. They're getting to these bomb sites so quick when the hit does come in. Fantastic stuff. Well, Cloud9, four rounds back-to-back -back for them. And that has, let's see what Envy are going to do here. They've got about 3K. Are they going to force something out? Happy did have the AK from the last round. Are we going to see Tech Nines forced in? We are going to see a few popping in there and head armor as well. It's a very much a mishmash. And this is, this is what they're known the story for. of last week, isn't it? It's what they're known for. Just keep on forcing. Yeah, and, and Cloud9's actually given up mid control this round. And this, this might be the adjustment that we were seeing that, that helped him. I mean, Envy slowed things down just a little bit, but now look at this is going to be a fast mid-B split. Sean's got to do some work. Sean's at the back of checkers, gets himself a double. Can he make it a triple? Not going to be working for him, but nothing with the cross there. He was the man that actually let MBK get past. Was kind of flashed out, but it's enough to give the information. Everybody comes around. Skadoodle actually getting one through the door there. Shroud will find the last, and it's just happy in checkers. They know exactly where he is. And it's going to be 13-12 for Cloud9, unless Happy pulls off something amazing. That's going to be Freakazoid finding the final kill. And this is a really strange back and forward game. Five rounds to Envy, five rounds to Cloud9. Even half, timeout called out from Envious. Yeah, a, a big, a, a very important timeout now as Cloud9's kind of the close, smile, close the gap. The smile from Jordan says it all. They are suddenly very confident in their abilities. Yeah, they're cruising. And even you can see it in how they're playing. They're, they're, they're not afraid to take these battles. And they know, you know, they're more worried about bailing their teammates out of a tough spot than, than you know, coming in and missing a shot or dying. So they're playing very, very confident, very well with how they're rotating. And this is kind of a change. I mean, this is very similar to the first half where we saw NVS CT be aggressive for six rounds, go out to that quick lead. Here in this half, they were still very aggressive. They were going out mid very early on. They were going B very, very quickly, being aggressive, and they've kind of slowed things down now, uh, you know, respecting the ops a little bit of Skadoodle. Well, 
Maybe yes, I've got enough money to buy up in this round, so we'll see what they come out with. But just looking at Cloud9, there's 12k on Sean Gares, 10k on nothing. They have money for days right now. And at 13, 12, that's pretty much going to carry them to the finish line. You know that 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 could very much be enough bank to uh, finish the game off for them. 13, 12, they've got as many rounds as they did last week already, and they're in a fantastic position to continue on. Now, bear in mind, this is it, like a lot of people are going to look at this map and go, "Yeah, but it's a best of one." But it's a best of one on a map that they've played three times on before, and Envious have come out on top. Other than last week, was a bit shaky, but they were convincing. Other than that, is this Cloud9 really starting to finally step up to the plate? Represent North America, Moses. Yeah, I mean, they're, the team that, they're the team that we wanted to do it. We've been looking for them to do it for quite some time. And, and to me, they're one of the, you know, that between them and Keatstars are the teams that are going to have to step up. The best opportunity to do it of all the teams we have here. And, and now you can see now that, that they're, like you said, you can see it on their face. They're happy. They're playing confident. They're playing loose. Um, they're making good decisions. Well, I mean, Virtus Pro is the team that they'd face if they won it. Luminosity would be the team they'd face if they lo lost it. They actually played Virtus Pro last week as well, so we can have another good read on that one, of course. But if they can take the scalp of Envious in their first game of the tournament, the confidence boost that will give them would be enormous. Here we go, though. What do we read from this one? Envious, long pause, long discussion. What are they going to do? Looks like it's going to be a boost mid. Back to the aggression, but it's not working because Keo, uh, the rest of the team got separated by a Molotov, so no Shroud's going to grab one. Nothing as well. And they have just took this down to a, oh. well, a one-man stand, happy. <laughs> The pause or not, that just did not work, and Clara and I read that situation perfect. You got to imagine they, they had that discussion during the pause. You know, when we were playing fast and aggressive early on, we got out to that sixth round lead. Sean's going to push up. He's going to find the angle, but can't win the battle. But still happy. Not a lot of hope for him here, but you saw Envy tries to t try to go back to that aggression, and they get separated by a Molotov on the boost. They were supposed to have two to three players boosted very, very quickly, but instead it isolated one who got taken out. Well, happy tried to sell the fake through the flash over at B, but... Instead, looks like he's going to try and sit this one out and wait for someone to rotate around. He's got 48 seconds on the clock, so he's not really able to run the clock down because it'll take him quite a while here. Freakazoid's in the perfect position to uh, cut him down the second he comes around this corner, but he's going to be checking his angle. He's ready, but we just, what, 12 hit points he had coming into that one. There was no chance, and now we're at 13 13, all square. Over to you, Envious. What will you do to react to this six-round dominance from Cloud9? And that's the question now, because they can, you know, this might be a force buy out of them. This is a situation where they could, but it'd be, it's, it's a risky. I mean, you look, you have the Glil, so they are force buying. Happy hasn't even bought anything this, quite yet. This is almost do or die, this round. They do not win this force buy. They're in serious situations. Galil for Smiths. Already, the grenade landing perfectly. And, well... Just 40 hit points for shocks. That's going to give them serious problems. Happy's going to be the man that will go in towards Squeaky. But Skadoodle and Freakazoid really haven't been too pressured. The moment Skadoodle got that orb, he has held this sight every single round. Yeah, he's been extremely effective with it. He's been great. Now look at this fast execute, and there's another kill for him. Well, Freakazoid's off the side as well. He knows he's got the support. Skadoodle gets another one. Nothing with the backup, and Envy just dropping like flies. Another easy one for Cloud9, and they have the lead for the first time in this game over Envious, 14-13. Moses, it might be happening. It, it, it looks like it is. To be, uh, and here's the thing. I, I don't want to get too excited because Cloud9, we talked about it. They have those heartbreak <laughs> moments. And, and I mean, with the, with the money that Envy has, they're, they're, they're buying every round, basically, is what that last round by said, is that we're buying every round until the last one. So this is another one of those situations with those Tech Nines, they can still do a lot of damage. It's another A play. Shock's trying to be the distractor over at B, trying to create any chaos, any situation that he can. Nothing's covering off the mid, but you can see Skadoodle untested, manages to land the shot onto Happy there through the wall, knocking him down to just 39 hit points. They're going to flash themselves out. They're going once again, but it's into the blender. This time they find Freakazoid down. Skadoodle is still in the corner, and the molly from Freakazoid managed to land. Skadoodle doesn't land the shot, doesn't land the second. Now they're going to get A control. What can they do with it? Shocks manages to find the frag in the mid as well, and suddenly Shroud and Sean gets the last two standing. Bomb manages to go down, but it's a two-on-one. It's a free defuse. It's a free, free defuse. Shock is miles away. He's coming A main. And he's not got the angle. Shroud will get this defuse without any issues. And Cloud9 they get away are with on one. match point against Envious. Yes, Freakazoid knows exactly what that meant. 
That was so close to the heartbreak round. That was so incredibly close. The intelligent play. Shock's got a kill lurking in mid, so they immediately called it out. He's so far away. Just get on the defuse. And that's exactly what happened. He was defusing in the fire to make sure that the rotation wasn't going to come in in time. So Cloud9 on the verge of a major upset early on. What can they do? It's going to be glass cannon time for Happy. Last roll of the dice for Envious to keep themselves in this matchup. Can they try and drag this to overtime? Keo, actually look at this, nothing and Shroud pushed all the way around B-site, they got the information, they got the kill, and now the rotate from Freakazoid is already on, they're heading towards A-site, they're flashing out the mid, covering off, they don't have any information from mid control right now, so they have no idea where MVS are, other than the fact they're most likely A-site. Yeah, and you're going to see, I mean, still, they, they haven't really rotated yet quite yet. Nothing's starting to be mobile. There's Sean with one, and Skadoodle still anchoring this site, being so effective with that up. That's the story for Cloud9 so far. Manages to get himself in position. He knows there's one coming around. He's going to be shocked. He's going to find him. Doesn't manage to land the first, but he will get the second. And Skadoodle holds strong. And this is now all on NBK. He is a natural born killer, but in a 4v1. With 40 seconds remaining on the clock, can he sell a fake to Cloud9? Virtus Pro or Luminosity will be the opponent of Cloud9 to take down the first European scalp in their first game of the tournament would meet. Magnificent. MBK finds one. Skadoodle's the man in the corner, though. He knows he's there. He gets a second. Freakazoid and Shroud coming in. He's going to get the bomb plants in. Freakazoid will be the first to challenge coming around the corner. The Molly's there. He's burning. He's got to get around. Then now they know the position. They've flushed him out. They're going to go in a 2v1. MBK, it's all on the first shot as he exits and comes around. The defuse is holding. It's going to come through. And Cloud9 will take it they stuck it out and mbk unable to land the shot and cloud nine ladies and gentlemen will take down envious 16 13.